Well, it's all been talking about George Galway, the uh, Galloway, excuse me, the uh, s- suck up to Saddam Hussein coming to Boston tonight also to raise money for Hamas. They're not being shy about it. It's not a Hamas link group. It's for Hamas. People are going to pay $1,000 a throw for a private uh, little uh, meet and greet. And then they're going to have an open event where tickets are $20, $10 for students. I can't wait to have students exposed to this idiot. One of the people who has taught me more about, well, first of all, you, you, know, you can learn everything you need to know from George Galway by listening to George Galway. You may think that those airplanes in this city on 9-11 came out of a clear blue sky. I believe they emerged out of a swamp of hatred created by us. And not only that, but he also urged on victory to the Intifada, the, which was the wholesale indiscriminate murder of uh, folks in Israel. And now he's coming to Boston. I couldn't think of anybody better to explain what an outrage this should be if we, in fact, were what I think of as liberals than liberal writer Christopher Hitchens, one of my favorite people in the media, one of my greatest days when I got to meet him on the set of one of Bill Maher's TV shows. Welcome back to 96.9. It's great to hear from you. Thanks for letting us bother you today. Well, yeah, I'm sorry uh, to hear about the local outbreak of pollution though, <laughs> in well, your fine neighborhood he's you know he's coming to town and the media won't even cover it hitch because they don't think it's a re- they don't think what's the big deal you're raising money for hamas so well what? Uh, no, no, no. he's i mean i'm 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 all for giving him a platform as long as people can let him know what they think and ask him a few pointed questions i could suggest a couple okay like of what topics well he was suspended from the house of commons um after refusing, well, I mean to say failing to comply with the legal obligation to declare all outside sources of income. That's a very grave thing to have happened to him. Mm -hmm. I forget how long the suspension was for. But it's even graver when you know what the source of income was. That's to say it was money from the so-called oil for food program run Mm -hmm. by the United Nations and Saddam Hussein, which was used to buy political influence outside the country instead of spending it directly on the... Iraqi people who were indeed young and old dying under those sanctions. So it was a direct theft from the mouths of the Iraqis, as well as a direct collusion with a regime that was genocidal. You know, it's one thing to dispute... Of that the... regime, George Galloway was the leading supporter in the world. Exactly. I mean, he traveled to Iraq, and we have tape and film of him saying to Saddam Hussein, I salute you, sir, for your <sighs> intifatic ability. He has done the same with the <sighs> Assad government dictatorship in Syria at the very moment when its forces in Lebanon were butchering opposition among Lebanese to the Syrian military occupation. Um, He's called for holy war um, and described the uh, attacks made by al-Qaeda in Mesopotamia on Iraqi civilians as martyrdom operations. He's been found by the by committee, bipartisan committee of the Senate and by a UN special inquiry into the author food program to have lied about his part in, in that disgusting business. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really, he's, he's a skunk. And he's so, a rat. And, and, and by the way, just so people didn't miss that, we're talking to Christopher Hitchens, he, not all, it's one thing to say you didn't support the war in Iraq. It's another thing to defend Saddam Hussein, and that's what this guy who's yes, coming I mean, to Boston tonight very often, he, he was expelled also from the Parliamentary Labour Party, and that's very often written up in papers like the New York Times as, as follows. He was expelled for his opposition to the intervention in Iraq. That's not true. A large right. number of members of the Parliamentary Labour Party had the perfect right and exercised it to uh, uh, criticize or flat out oppose the use of British troops, but um, George Galloway was expelled for re- recommending and supporting violence against British soldiers. In other words, he's not anti-war at all. Right. He's very pro-war, but he's on the other side. In fact, he, call- he as said... As you heard, was- he's an apologist for Osama bin Laden, as well as Saddam Hussein, and... Um, I'm sorry, now it's Bashir al-Assad. It's a family. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're joining Christopher Hitchens, one of my favorite writers in the world today, and you wrote a great piece about how he said it would be completely reasonable for the uh, Islamists to kill the Prime Minister of Great Britain. Yes, well, he also defended, of course, the attacks of, um, of July 7th in London on the subway. He said it was our fault. We'd brought it on ourselves. We, we can, how can we expect to go peacefully onto mm-hmm. the subway? Um, when we have a foreign policy that George Galloway doesn't agree with. Obviously, people have the right to take life at random if they object. Here's what I'm trying to put together, and, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not a liberal. I thought when I was young that I wanted to be one because I thought they were all like you. But then I found out 
they're really like, and so I'm a proud member. Well, Galloway, of that. it's difficult. Galloway is a very peculiar kind of leftist. I mean, mm -hmm. for one thing, he's uh, his main propaganda and his main sources of income are supporting Islamist or fascist dictatorships, mm -hmm. um, such as the Saddam Hussein one. Uh, for another, he said uh, publicly that the worst day of his life was the collapse of the Soviet Union. <laughs> I think you're getting maybe a fairly clear picture of him. Yeah. But uh, and anyone who doesn't believe or thinks uh, they might be inclined to doubt anything I say would find all this very, very easy to check. They could look up what I wrote about him right. a few years ago on Slate magazine. If, and, you go, if you go to Slate, put in my name and his, you'll get quite a... Well, uh, I have some links at my blog here at the radio station already from prepping for the show this morning to your stuff. We're talking to Christopher Hitchens. And, but this is, you know, so he's an odd figure, so I set him aside. Now explain this to me. He's coming to the shadow of Harvard to hang out in the most blue state in America, where he will be welcomed by people who are giving $1,000 apiece. Those are the liberals I don't understand. What kind of person gives this man money to take back to Hamas? Well, I don't know who would be likely to pay money or, or did want to go to a Hamas supporting dinner anyway, but I would put Hamas on the extreme right wing of the Palestinian movement, mm -hmm. of which I, I consider myself, by the way, to be... Um, a friend of self-determination and statehood for the Palestinians for a long time. In fact, I, used, I even used to know George Galloway very slightly mm -hmm. on, on that basis, which is why he hates me so much. But, I mean, Hamas is an organization that wants to uh, keep women subordinate, right. uh, that publishes the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, which is a, a Nazi well, a fabrication right. about a Jewish world conspiracy. This is not exactly a liberal um, organization. And yet they're, be, they're not going to have... And which makes war on the secular uh, forces of, of yeah. al-Fatah and the Palestinian Authority, but as well as on its own people. But here's what's interesting. They're not meeting in Alabama. They're not meeting in Tennessee. They're meeting in Alston, in, in, the, in the city of Boston, tonight. In, and, and that's what I don't understand. Why isn't this guy being... If, I'll put it this way. If Ann Coulter or Glenn Beck showed up, there would be near riots. But this dirtbag can show up and people go, oh, sure, it's, it's for Hamas. What a reasonable thing to do with your money. Well, I just think that the better people are informed about it, but in particular about its choice of guest, uh, the, more, the more in doubt they might become about it. Uh, such a deplorable... So let me ask you, is it fair to say that the... the and I know left and right gets a little confusing here, but is it fair to say that... You, if President Obama is the, is, the, is the centerpiece of the left, that the left in America is either soft on terror or tolerant of terrorism as long it's the, as it's the right kind of terrorism? A great chunk of the left, not all of it, sure. but a, I would say something like a, a strategic majority of the hard left anyway, views um, Islamist fascism, the, uh, even in its al-Qaeda form, as in some perverted way a sort of liberation theology. They think of it as anti-imperialistic. And if you think, as many of them do, that the main enemy in the world is American-sponsored uh, globalized capitalism, you, you perhaps saw Osama bin Laden's last communique, right. in which he urged us all to read Noam Chomsky <laughs> and worry more about climate change. A very uh, suggestive shift of emphasis on his part, yeah. away from things like killing Jews, mm -hmm. uh, uh, repressing women, right. uh, torturing and murdering uh, other sexuals and other, uh, other, other progressive causes. But it seems that these things are now being made compatible. Um, I watch this with an ironic eye, I have to say. And as well, you should. You know, apparently, you can double up on the number of virgins you get if you blow everyone up with a hybrid or fuel-efficient vehicle. This is very good to know from Osama bin Laden. Uh, Christopher Hitchens, thank you for helping me enlighten everybody about this guy, George Galloway, who's coming to uh, Boston tonight. And I'm hoping that there will be a counter, uh, some protests. I hope there will be somebody sp speaking out on behalf of decency It would be disgraceful if a person like that was allowed just to appear, be treated with respect and allowed to leave. He should, he should have his words played back to him, mm -hmm. and he should have his actions, uh, he should be confronted with his, <coughs> I'm so sorry, with his um, uh, uh, proven actions, and mm -hmm. with the, uh, with the uh, measures that have already been taken by the UN, by the British Parliament, and by our Congress, to, to limit his repellent activities. Well, we're doing what we can, but unfortunately, for some reason, Massachusetts is terrorist central lately. They never met a terrorist they didn't like. Christopher Hitchens writes for Slate, writes for pretty much everybody, uh, one of my favorite writers in the world today. Thanks so much for joining us. 617-822-1969. I am Michael Graham. Thank you.